Welcome everybody. With Starfield's release date getting closer, I wanted this video to summarize what we know about Starfield in less than 10 minutes. First off, Starfield is the first new IP from Bethesda Game Studios in almost 30 years. As many of you know, Bethesda is known for their massively successful RPGs, such as the Elder Scrolls and Fallout games. Starfield has been in development for six years, and rumors are that the launch game version has the fewest bugs of any of the releases. So it seems to me like the six years have been well spent. The game is being played by reviewers now, and their reviews are set to be available on August 31st once, they're, once the embargo ends. Starfield's official release date is September 6th if you have the normal edition. However, the premium or constellation editions have a five-day early access beginning on September 1st. I have to say it's great marketing to release around holiday weekend for those in the US. They are definitely aiming to tempt us to buy at least the premium edition to play over the long holiday weekend. So first question, how do you play? You'll either need an Xbox Series X or S or a PC with these hardware recommendations. I would recommend leaning towards Bethesda's recommended specs and not the minimum, because the, this game is massive. It may struggle with less than ideal hardware. However, if you only have the minimum specs, you can always try the game on your current PC and see if it runs to your satisfaction. The developers have left the plot mostly a mystery, so we'll have to wait and see the storyline. However, they have shared many of the features of Starfield, and let me say, the game looks like it has something for everyone. From exploration, combat, building and crafting, I foresee playing this game for hundreds of hours without ever getting bored. Developers who are currently playing the game have said that they've played over 150 hours with no end in sight. As typical for any Bethesda Game Studios game, you start off creating your own character from their looks to their starting skills. You gain more skill points by leveling up and reading skill books found throughout the world, just like, say, Skyrim and Fallout 4. I don't want to go too much into this since I don't find it too different than Skyrim or Fallout games, but typically you can really customize your character to be anybody you want and geared towards any playstyle you desire. In past Bethesda RPGs, my favorite thing to do is just explore the world, such as going dungeon diving and exploring every possible location. As technology has evolved over the years, Bethesda has designed Starfield to expand on this exploration concept to levels we, have, we haven't seen in any previous Bethesda game. There are literally a thousand planets which have their own landscape uniquely generated on your approach similar to No Man's Sky. Once this landscape is generated, resources, creatures, locations, and other points of interest are added to complete a truly unique planet. Planets vary in makeup, such as a rock or ice planet, which in turn leads to containing different resources to mine or gather. With a thousand unique planets to explore, it's no wonder it takes hundreds of hours to complete the game. With unique planets, if your friends visit the same planet as you, it will definitely look different. However, this makes me curious how this will play into mission walkthroughs or guides to find unique items in the world. We are so used to everything being static. For example, in Skyrim, we can easily find a video online to explain how to find the Ebony Blade. But I think the pros outweigh the cons. And the world is truly unique to your game, which makes the game much more fun and interesting. Fallout 4 brought the first settlement building experience, and I spent so much time building my settlements. Starfield has something similar in Outposts, which you can build anywhere on any planet. There's even missions to expand your Outpost Empire, if you want to call it that. When creating your Outposts, there's a separate top-down camera view that helps you visualize the building layout to create the perfect outpost. I imagine that depending on the current planet, the resources generated will vary, so you'll have to have a variety of outposts on different planets to optimize resources. 
However, to help simplify things, you can also hire fo followers to manage your outpost resource generation while you're off world. This is similar to Fallout 4 where you could hire vendors for specific settlements, but Starfield is taking it to the next step by actively using followers to help you. In order to build these outposts, you need all that scrap and materials you find throughout your journey. So just hoard everything. Being a space game, you have to have a spaceship, right? Similar to outposts, you can create and customize your own spaceship to travel and combat other spaceships. Your ship will be your main home where you'll be spending a lot of time, so you'll want to carefully craft it. While building your ship, a similar top-down layout view is active so you can visualize your masterpiece. Your spaceship can be any size or shape and have whatever features that will aid your play style. Whether it's designed for full ship-to-ship -ship combat with heavy guns and shields, to just a cargo ship with a huge cargo bay for all your junk. I know my first ship is going to be a cargo ship since I really want a smuggler crafter gameplay. There really are so many possibilities and it's looking to be a focal point of the game. I hope the developers learn how to approach ship combat from games like Star Wars Squadrons and make sure it doesn't get repetitive and boring so we can enjoy ship combat for the hundreds of hours we play Starfield. During ship battles, you have the option to outright shoot down and destroy ships or board them and fight inside their ships to take it over. Destroying a ship will drop resources while boarding and taking over a ship allows you to keep said ship or sell it for profit. I know I'll definitely spend lots of times as a space pirate by sh stealing ships to sell. It can't be a Bethesda RPG game without weapons though. Starfield is more in line with Fallout with guns and melee weapons than with the medieval weapons of Elder Scrolls games. But again, I don't want to go too much into weapons since they are what they are. Overall, it looks like Starfield has been a well-designed and thought-out game, which I hope lives up to all the expectations. So, do you have Starfield pre-ordered and have taken time off work to play? And comment below on what you are most excited for. Please consider liking and subscribing for more Starfield videos, and I'll see you in the next video.